Hey, what's up YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the Pennsylvanian toy collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing some random figures, including one from Star Wars Resistance, which is a brand new figure here on this channel, which I've never reviewed. This figure has been out for a while, and I've never owned this figure. But first, we're going to look at our thrift store and Steel City Con figures. First on the list, we have my favorite pickup from the Goodwill outlet, this woolly mammoth, which reminds me of Manny from Ice Age. Who doesn't remember Ice Age? The original Ice Age. I remember it when I was just a kid. And this guy is absolutely good looking. He's got some articulation in his legs, which is nice, for a figure of this scale. No ball joints, it's just limitations. But you get some good articulation out of these feet, which is nice. And I love me some good articulation. Really good paint, really good sculpting. This is my favorite pickup from Goodwill Outlet, and I've been meaning to get this guy in a review for a while. And he makes noise when you press this button right here. And he sounds just like a woolly mammoth, and that's pretty cool about this figure. But that's all there is to say for my own version of Manny. Moving him out of there. Next on the list, we got some Marvel figures, and these are the Marvel Bend and Flex. We got Black Panther and Iron Man, but first we're going to look at Iron Man. And you get some articulation with these figures. I love that. Articulation with the head is on a ball joint. That's nice. I never picked any Bend and Flex figures up, but these are the best looking Bend and Flex figures. And he does have a place right here where you can put a repulsor piece and you can be like, Repulsor Blast. And I couldn't help but doing the pew pew noises, huh? And you can totally get a lot of articulation out of these figures. For these Bend and Flex figures, a lot of movement. Iron Man? You're the best Bend and Flex figure I own now. Next on the list, we got the Black Panther Wakanda Forever. And he does have some breakage on his hand. I got this guy from Steel City Con, so he might have had some breakage from the person who owned him. It's a shame, really, but he's a good-looking figure otherwise. I'll probably just display him. If I ever find another one without the breakage, I'll probably pass them along to another kid. But you get some articulation in the head, same as Iron Man's, which is nice. You get some poses out of him. He can be like, punch you, be like, one punch. Like that anime one punch. And some nice paint sculpting all over him. He can kick out that far and be like, karate kick, pow. And he can be like, karate kicking you, like, pow, pow, pow. To be like Thanos or something. Would I recommend these if you're a Marvel fan like I am? Yes, these are worth getting. They're fun to mess around with, and I just love them. But that's all there is to say for these Bend and Flex figures. Now for the main figure on the review bucket list. This is Star Wars Resistance. Tora. Dozen. And she is a member of the Star Wars Resistance crew. And there she's got her helmet in her arms. Painted on the box, which is real nice. Tora Dozen, and the other figures in the line, I've got Commander, I meant not Commander, but 
Major Major Von Jen. Sorry if I had to think because I have this guy and my head got confused. Sorry about that. And I am going to try to get Kaz from this show to go with Tora and she'll look good on my shelf with Kaz and probably Ray. And that's all there is to say for the packaging. Let's get on to the review itself. And this is a good looking figure. I had to give her a gun of sorts, so I crafted a gun out of some spare Lego pieces so she can be like, take this, Stormtroopers, pew, pew, bang, bang. Some Stormtroopers with that. Which is pretty cool. But it doesn't stay in her hand very well. Articulation, the arms get a full 360. No other articulation. No hinge on the on the uh, shoulder pads. She can kick out that far. Kick back that far. Head is on a ball joint, which is nice for these figures. Not a bad looking figure. And here's the helmet, which shows her face off in the helmet. The only reason I'm not going to have her with this helmet on is because it's a pain in the neck to attach. But I will try to show that off if I can. I'm afraid I'm going to break her, her neck. I really am. Because it's really tight. Really tight. I'm just going to have to just show you like this. But yeah, that's what it will look like. I'm just afraid to put it on her because... I'm afraid of snapping her neck joint. I really am. So she probably won't get displayed with that. Because I'm afraid I'm going to snap her neck joint. This is how I'm going to display her. Because she's a cute looking resistance pilot. And she is a cute, cute character from the Star Wars Resistance cartoon. Sorry if I had to correct myself there at the moment. But yeah, she is a cute character from Star Wars Resistance. And that's why I picked her up. I don't have a lot of female Star Wars figures for comparison. But here she is next to my first Star Wars figure. And this is my Star Wars Force Awakens Ray with Luke Skywalker's lightsaber. And they look good together. Cartoon, movie, they both look good together. And that's why I'm going to display them together. If you like this video, make sure to like, make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And I enjoy doing these videos and showing off my figures in reviews. You guys are the greatest, and I appreciate your support, even though when I have a lot of correction moments. Now this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out, YouTube land.